Do you want to learn how you can overlay images on iPhone or iPad without using a third-party app? Then this tutorial is for you. In this guide, we will show you how you can easily create a shortcut that will enable you to put picture over another picture with the help of the shortcuts app. You will also be able to rotate the overlaid image and reduce its opacity. Start by opening the shortcuts app and tapping on the plus button from the top. Then tap on the I button from the bottom bar and make sure show in share sheet toggle is enabled. Next you have to tap on the images and add in more text. Then tap on the clear button. Once you have tapped on the clear button, make sure you turn on the toggle for images and then tap on done. In the next step, tap on the add action button and in the search bar type select photos. After it appears in the search results, tap on it so it gets added to your shortcut. Now tap on the search bar from the bottom and search for select photos once again. As it appears in the search results, tap on it. Now that two select photos actions have been added to your shortcut, tap on the search bar and type overlay image. Add this action to your shortcut as well. Next you have to tap and hold on the image text next to overlay and then from the pop-up menu tap on select variable. Now tap on photos found under the first select photos action. Next you have to tap and hold on the second photos variable of the overlay action and then tap on the select variable option. Now you have to tap on the photos under the second select photos action. What you want to do next is tap on the search bar and search for save to photo album. Tap on it from the search results in order to add it to your shortcut. Now our shortcut is almost ready. Next, tap on the arrow at the top and rename your shortcut according to your liking. Here I'm going to name it overlay image shortcut so that it is easy to find. Finally, tap on the done button to save the shortcut. And as you can see, the shortcut has been added to all shortcuts screen. Now to create overlaid images, I have to run the shortcut, select the image that I want on top and then select the image that I want as the background. Now as you can see, my first image has been overlaid on the second image. I can move this overlaid image around. I can resize it, I can change its opacity and I can even rotate it. After I'm done, I can tap on the done button and the photo will be saved to my photos library from where I can share it with others. By the way guys, if you want to save some time and don't want to go through all of these steps, then you can also download the image overlay shortcut we have just created from the link shared in the description of this video. If you found this video to be helpful, then do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. This was Zape for iOS Hacker and I will catch you in our next video.